This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're going to be talking about some premium sound equipment. This is from Gibson Pro Audio. This is the Les Paul reference monitor. This is the 6 inch version we're looking at. Now for those of you who don't want to invest in high quality sound, you're not into the audiophile world or you really aren't concerned about really good quality sound outside of your performance sound system, you can shut the video off right now because this isn't for you. For those of you who can appreciate what Les Paul brought to the guitar industry, not just to Gibson, but to the guitar industry, the quality and the passion he brought, we'll get a grasp for what we're looking at right here. This, of course, is a reference monitor meant, in our case, as DJs, would be something you would use in your studio, where you would have these up so you're going to be able to hear your mixes. Now, why is this called the Les Paul version? Because Les Paul has been gone for a little while. Well, what Gibson wanted to do is they wanted to honor the memory of Les Paul, and they created a box, and multiple boxes. This is the six, there's a four, and there's an eight. But they created boxes that live up to his standard. I think is the best way to describe this. They come in three different looks that kind of represent the guitars that Les Paul designed. They have a cherry, they have a cherry burst, and a tobacco burst. We're looking at the tobacco burst right now in front of me here. And they look somewhat similar. If you look on the websites, you can see the differences, but really it's just a little, you know, for the guys who had the guitars or grew up with the guitars or love the guitars, you're going to find one of them that fits the guitar you love more than the others. Otherwise, everything else inside is going to be identical except the four, six, or eight inch drivers in the unit. Now, what's really kind of cool about this, again, is it's high fidelity sound that comes out of this. You hook a high quality source up to this. You're not going to want to hook up some little, little cheap MP3 player to this. You're going to want to have high quality MP3 files or your, your digital files. You're not going to want to have the 128s because you're not going to appreciate the quality of these speakers. You're going to have to have something ripped at a little bit higher bit rate than that because these will give you sound that you don't hear on less expensive speakers. Now for the guys out there who go and are going into the audiophile world and you want to go and have good quality speakers in your home, you know, your man cave, what have you, this is going to be that option. But I'll warn you right now, they're not inexpensive. These are an investment where you're investing in not only the, the coolness factor, but you're also investing in quality and you're investing in something that's going to last a long time. In many cases, these are more expensive than you maybe maybe your primary sound system. And that's okay because truthfully, the primary sound system, most people won't know and they don't have to live with your sound system every weekend. So as long as it sounds good, they'll probably be okay with that. But when I'm at home, I just, it irks me if my sound in my you know, studio or the sound in my living room isn't as good as it could be. Hence, the Les Paul reference monitors are something I would definitely want to check out for those applications, hence why they're here. So let's take a look at the connectivity in the back of the reference monitors and see what they can do. So on the back, we've only got really a couple of different connections that we're going to be looking at. We've got our power and power switch. There's a standby switch or a defeat switch, basically, which allows you to turn this on. And if I had this, say, installed up near the top of a bookcase or something where I couldn't get up and get to the back, I can do the standby switch. Once the power of the, you know, the music coming through the line to it is shut off, after a few moments, it's going to shut itself off. That's what that switch is for. Uh, you can run into it with a, a line level. So we have an RCA jack right there. And we have this combo jack, which can be XLR, could be a tip ring sleeve, what have you a little volume control on that, and we also have a simple bass and treble control on this box. That's it. Not a ton of connectivity because in a case of a reference monitor in your studio, you might have a studio, a booth out. The booth out could be RCA jacks, so I'm running an RCA from that to that to the two reference monitors. If I'm doing my living room theater sound system with this, there's a couple of different ways to do it, of course, but the cool way that we're going to be playing with this is we're getting a high-end Bluetooth receiver that's coming in. And that Bluetooth receiver with a higher-end Bluetooth signal coming out of my computer should give us an incredible sound. I'm pretty excited about that, and that's on order, but it's not here yet. So right now, in order to get sound, I've got to hook up. And I found that hooking up you know, from a portable device, my iPad, which I have right here, if I'm hooking up with my iPad and going into it, I get a really nice sound. I found I get a much better sound if I'm coming from my computer through a digital processing board controller, what have you, and then going XLR out into the into the box, I get a much better sound quality, and I'm really, really excited about it. So I wanted to try to get as high a quality as I can, but yet I also like the wireless connectivity that would give me Bluetooth to add on to this, so that's why I did that. 
But for those who are looking for you know, something that's cool for the man cave or wanting something for your, your office or you want to have a sound system that's going to do a really nice job for you, this is something you definitely want to take a look at. We'll put a link in the description so you can check out the Les Paul reference monitors from Gibson Pro Audio. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, please click the link right down below me here. That's the subscribe to our YouTube video channel, and that'll keep you up to date on all the new releases on Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. Or you can check out a playlist of all of our DJ tips that we put together right here. Or check out the Bill and Jason show on DJN TV that comes out every Thursday night right here. Or our Wednesday night show, The Rewind Report with Michael Joseph. Catch up on all of what's new in the DJ industry by clicking the link right here. Any one of them. Three, four links. Subscribe. Tips. Bill and Jason. The Rewind Report. Click one of them. Really, you can. Don't click me. I, I don't do anything. They do things. I just stand here and talk. It's pretty much what I do.